Hello viewers, this is Krish from Informatica Customer Success Team. Today I'm going to discuss the use of IACS Structure Person Transformations and Intelligent Structure Model. The purpose of using the Structure Parser using the Intelligent Structure Model is to transpose or parsing the data which are unstructured like XML or any JSON file to a relational format. The structure parser transformations transpose your input data to a user defined structure format based on an intelligent structure model. To create an intelligent structure model, use the intelligent structure discovery. The intelligence structure discovery determines the underlying structure of the sample data file and creates a model of the structure. Intelligent structure model The intelligent structure discovery determines the underlying pattern. And the structure of the input that you provides for your model and creates a model that can be used to transpose or parse to generate your output groups. The intelligent structure discovery can automatically inter interpret in your input data and discover the patterns, the relationship, and the type of data in your unstructured file. The intelligent structure discovery creates a model that expresses the expected output data. You can use an intelligent structure model in mapping to parse your unstructured or semi structure or unstructured data. Let's begin the demo to prepare for a intelligent structure model and a structure parser to transpose or parsing a file. So for today's demo, I'm going to use a XML file to parsing and it's gonna work in the same way for any semi structured data even. You can use a JSON file to similarly to parse the data. Let's have a look the file that I am going to parsing. This is my XML file, and I will be parsing that data using an ISM uh, intelligence structure discovery, and then I will be using that into the structure parser to parsing that data and loading into a relational table. Here is my source file location. So purchase order. This is the file name. Just I, just now I show as an XML. This is my XML and this is the file name. In order to read the file, what I have done is I keep this as indirect file list under this order file. So I will be reading the file um, indirectly so that I can process as many as number of files by reading an indirect file list. If you notice that uh, the way that I am reading this indirect file list is I put the path and I given the locations where the file is um, just I would be reading only one single file so I am keeping it here but in case if you have multiple files that you wanted to read uh, you can just add like this and let's assume this is your file this is the your second file and this is your third file so you can continue add all those files and the when you are executing your jobs indirectly it will gonna read all the files and it will process all the data inside the file so for this demo purpose i'm removing these two files because i will be only processing a single file in these locations um, in order to process the data so in my target database, I already have created a table um, to load the data. This is my relational structure, uh, which I have created within an Oracle database. Um, I already executed this statement just to showcase there is no data as of now. And I will be executing, building the jobs and execute in order to load the data. I logged in into the ICS platform. And I have chosen data integrations. I created a folder um, where I have built the code as a uh, to showcase as a demo. Now let's have a look one by one. So this is the purchase order. You see, this is nothing but the ISM intelligent um, structure model that I was talking. And if I click on edit, you will notice that it basically looking for the file. Now if you um 
look for the file you have to choose the data and you have to select the file that you are looking for and once you will select that um, if you click the discovery structure it basically give you the model that you are looking for um, this is your relational model uh, you notice if you notice here it's automatically generate the pkfk for all the relations the underlying tags that you have it's automatically generates the relation um, so we'll be using those relations uh, in order to join and process each um, part of the data into the, your final uh, target table uh, this is your xml file and what i'm gonna do right now is i will click on save and this size this particular uh, model is ready for parsing and i'll be using the same one uh, for my mapping now this mapping uh, indicates like i have a source um, then i am using this to parse the data and i'm basically using three different expression because i have three different part of this xml um, and i join them together and finally i'm loading into my target table now for selecting the source it's i just give a name this and click your source you give the locations from where you wanted to um, read the file the connection details and that indicates the object name so as i said earlier that i give the order.txt because it's an indirect file list uh, i will be reading all the files under that particular file name where i have chosen the path right now once this is done um, it basically has this uh, path which comes from that order.txt file now i have chosen this structure parser now the structure parser is nothing but from here you can um, get the structure parser this but structure parser is the transformation now let me click here once you get the structure parser this structure person will be expecting the intelligent structure model then you have to select that and you have to choose the model that you want um, so i have already developed this and i keep this model which i will be using to parse the data my xml data now this is my incoming field which is that indicates the path which is indirect way the file and these are the field names and this is my output field now that is interesting for the output field you will see uh, there there are three different uh, category that i have so basically in the purchase order the first tag in my xml file i have these are the fields order date purchase order number delivery notes and in the next part i have address i have those um, different attributes and the last one is item so i have part number and the product name now from here once you already select that um, the ism you will see this icon is automatically comes at the end of this uh, transformations and from here you can drag um, the all these output groups to multiple expressions so the question might be why I am using multiple expressions because um, let me show you something here. So let's, if you want to drag something here, it basically will ask, okay, which part of your XML that you wanted to parse, right? So I have three different uh, tag. One is purchase order, address, and item. So I basically drag for the first time with the purchase order second it's address and the item now in order to those things join and make it ready for your target i just took the first purchase order and an address um, the join condition that i have given so all the fields which are coming from masters and the detail and the join condition i have given as a normal i choose the purchase order fk um, pk and fk now from where did i get these two if you notice that i have already 
um, selected this model where it when you are looking at here is this purchase order pk generates for this order number and for your type it also gives you as the same number as an fk so i will be using this pk fk relations to join this structure to join these two um, groups and i did the same and then next part i using the other join conditions so which is purchase order pk and um, source purchase order fk because the name is conflicting so i just click on the resolve conflict i give some name i have to make sure um, it picks the unique name and i finally in the target i have given a locations where um, this particular table is there and the table name i put it as an inserted update logic and this is my update columns which i will be using to update the records otherwise it will be insert now once this thing is done mapping is valid save um i don't want to touch anything because it's already uh, tested now i click in this mapping tax so here if i click at it you will see it basically look for the uh, tax name and you have to select the runtime environment and choose the mapping once you are done then click next this is mapping uh, is simple i'm not using any parameter file or anything so i just keep it as a blank and just click finish then you are done with your particular uh, this mapping now let's run this code this code is now running this is done um let's have a look here right now if i just execute this i see all those records has been inserted now if i wanted to rerun one more time basically it's go for update so these all records which are in the xml now it is parse um, and i was able to successfully load it into a relational format it could be a table it could be a file depends on where you wanted to load the data let's have a look so this is done so update is also done i haven't made any changes but obviously if you would have made any changes it's gonna reflect the same way so this is indicating it's sending our demo um so uh using the structure parser and intelligent structure model will be able to um, build a code and the good point that i wanted to mention here so if you notice that um, while we are building the hierarchy builder transformation as of today it doesn't have a pass through code but in the structure parser using um, the ism like intelligent structure model um, you will have an advantage to select all the pass through ports so in case if you have any pass through ports you can select and you can drag to your target uh, in case if you need so this is one of the options that if you you will get using your structure parser um, uh, with the use of um, the, the intelligent structure model so this pass through footed additional features um, you can definitely use in case if you need any fields needs to be passed through in your target this is ending our demo i already pasted two document links basically uh, one is for the 
structure parser transformations the second one is for the intelligent structure model so if you wanted to know more about those uh, transformations you can open those links from the informatica um, docs.informatica.com and you will get more information we would love to hear from you if you have any comments or feedbacks um, post that to the support videos and informatica.com thank you for watching this video and have a great day